guys, Seb Goldswain here, and thank you so much for joining me for another one of my weekly Patreon guitar lessons. Thank you so, so much for those of you who have subscribed, as well as to those of you who have shared this with friends who you think might enjoy this kind of guitar-y content. Alright, so on to today's lesson. Um, as you would have seen in the, the lick that I just played, we are looking through arpeggios today. And today I, what I have is a, a, a kind of like a... A, an arpeggio pattern that works really well with sweep picking. You can either use this with a flat pick and it kind of gives you like a Frank Gambale type of technique uh, that he liked to use a lot. Um, or you can do it how I'm doing it today, which is with your thumb pick and with your fingers. And it's more reminiscent of a Ch Chet Atkins style. So basically what we're doing is breaking down our arpeggios. So instead of doing like the, the classics you know, sweet picking shred guitar kind of thing that you would have seen in a lot of, you know, guitar magazines. That kind of stuff. What we're doing is breaking it down into segments and climbing up the arpeggio that way. So um, you can use as many of these shapes or one or two of them in your playing. They're very, very helpful. So uh, basically the, the shape, we're starting on the root of an A minor. And that's our first. Once we've got that, we move on to the next uh, scale degree, which would be your third, a C. Using a C major 7 arpeggio, but which makes an A minor 9 arpeggio if you look into the theory. But anyway, and then we're moving up to the minor 7th, and then back to the root. And all together, with a little chromatic flourish at the end. So basically the idea is you can apply this to uh, gypsy jazz style of playing, uh, jazz, even blues, blues rock, and it all works really well. You can also take this minor 7 arpeggio shape and you can turn them into major 7th arpeggio shapes and use them over major sounds or dominant sounds. I will um, have PDFs, they should be in the description for you below, and uh, so you can check those out and apply them to different kind of harmonic uh, scenarios. Anyway, I hope this has helped you. I hope this has opened up uh, an idea for you. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. And uh, please do uh, feel free to share this video. Please do feel free to share my Patreon page with any of your friends who might be interested in this stuff. And uh, thank you so much. We'll see you guys next week.